my channel Minecraft. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic which affects everyone's life, including me. None of us are exempted from this conflict. It is called self-conflict. So when we have self-conflict, what is it that gets affected? Why do we create it? And how can we stop it? Let me talk about this today. First is, why do we do this? Why do we have self-conflict? We have self-conflict because others, which can be our family member, which can be our friend, which can be our relative, which can be our colleague, who can pass a very general comment on you and it starts affecting your self-confidence. And you start doing self-conflict with yourself that I am not good at this. So guys, number one, don't have self-conflict if somebody passes a casual comment on you. It is also known as bullying. Now, bullying can create a lot of mental pressure which affects your performance. And slowly, it takes away your self-confidence, your self-esteem. You yourself would not respect yourself. So this is something which is very, very sad when I meet my clients to counsel or even when I'm training. I have seen so many candidates coming up with bullying. And it can be, oh, I can help you ha taking actions, but it's only you who can come out of it, who can stop it. So when it starts, whether it starts at the age of five, it starts at the age of 10, when parents are helping, but the minute you become a teenager, you become an adult and there is no age limit. I have a client at the age of 60, he's being bullied from his college days and he acknowledged it only when the daughters started acknowledging it. But nevertheless, even if you have acknowledged it at the age of 60, I think you it, it, it is great. But didn't you waste so many years having a self-conflict and saying that I am not good? Let me share this case study with you. This person is an engineer from one of the premium colleges working at a very high position in government job. But he has a dark complexion. So, initially in college, friends were bullying him or just giving a nickname as you get in every college, but they gave him Kalu. Now, this particular term, this particular vocabulary definitely affected his self-esteem. And slowly as he grew older, he did not like and he wrote on social media, bullying at any age is not good. So imagine friends, 40 years of his life, he had self-conflict in himself. But I'm so happy and glad that at least even at 60, he came up to me and we could take some actions. We could give him certain therapies. We could tell him what to do. So now what is it? that you can do if it is happening to you. Number one, train your mind. Mentally be very strong. And how will you train? Either by constant reading a book, constant meditation, constant counseling by someone professional and applying it in your daily life. You need to create a platter of information early in the morning for yourself to be mentally strong as you create a platter of food for yourself. Don't you think you create a platter for healthy diet every day? If you do it once a week, if you do it once a month, do you think you'll be physically healthy? Similarly, is it that we are giving enough importance to this mental health? Am I giving a good mental diet? So guys, try. 
and give certain information. Either it can be through a book, through social media, through your teacher, through your mentor, through meditation. You have to follow certain path every day. You have to bring a habit in your life, which is your lifestyle, which helps you come out of it every day. So my dear friends, my dear viewers, kindly take care of your mental health and don't have self-conflict because the case study which I was talking, he is the one who felt inferior that I don't have a good complexion. Should I tell you one thing, good complexion or a good height or a good personality? Definitely it's a strength. It's a physical strength which you get, appreciation which you get. But if in case you have dark complexion, you are short in height, you have a challenge, you have to have a little extra skill than others, definitely, so that you can prove yourself well. But you have to, number one, stop this self-conflict to yourself that I'm not good at this. I am not good at that. I won't be able to do this. So stop doing this to yourself and make a ritual, make a habit every day in your lifestyle, which will give you good mental strength. So take care of yourselves, guys, and take care of your mental health. And thank you so much for encouraging me, asking me questions. And I will try to come up with the videos to the best of my ability, exposure, and experience. Till then, take good care of yourselves. Thank you so much.